In this video, we're going to set up your profit formulas. This is the next setting in your SKU grid settings. To get to profit formulas, you'll click on settings and then you'll click on profit formulas. There's an important note for you right here in red and it tells you that profit formulas are for reference only. To calculate selling prices for repricing, you, you need to define formulas for each marketplace. What that means is the profit formulas button here. Please don't get this formula here confused with what actually does your repricing. The profit formula is just used to calculate an estimated profit that displays on the grid. And I'll show you that right here. This column on the grid, estimated profit, this is what the profit formula does. It calculates the difference between your compare item, which is going to be usually your eBay or Amazon item link. So it's going to calculate the difference between your price minus the supplier price minus approximately 15% for fees. The reason why 15% is used because is because people use SKU grid for both eBay and Amazon. eBay fees with PayPal will be approximately 13% and on Amazon your fees are always 15%. So since 15% is the greater number, that's why the number 15 is used instead of 13. You can modify the profit formula if you'd like to, um, but it's not necessary. So in, with that said, with that being said, you're, if, you, if you do not use compare item URLs, meaning you're not putting your eBay link or your Amazon link here, then the difference between the two, if you subtract the supplier fees, from zero, and you subtract eBay and PayPal fees from zero, regardless, if you subtract anything from zero, you will always see a negative estimated profit. This does not mean that your profit will be negative. Um, this is just for a display on the grid, just to give you a quick glance at your estimated profit. Using compare item URLs is a, an optional feature, so you don't necessarily have to do it. In any event, the main profit formula, this is what's here by default, right here, compare price, which is your price and your shipping minus the supplier price, minus 15% of the supplier price minus the supplier shipping. Now I've modified that to be my price, compare price, minus 15% of my price to take off for the fees minus the supplier price. So I will flash this uh, URL, I'm sorry, this formula up on the screen so that you can copy it if you need to. To me, it made more sense to calculate it this way. Um, but other than that, there's no real need to do anything on this tab other than to change this formula here if you'd like. There are additional options that you can do. You can set up additional formulas that fire up based on your compare item store or the supplier. So, but you know, again, that's optional. There's no real need to do anything here. Um, everybody use, com uses compare items for different things. But for right now, all you need to worry about is this formula right here. And you just need to know that it's used to calculate the estimated profit that displays on the screen. That's it. It does not control your repricing. Your repricing has already been done. And that's why, you know, it's, it's your eBay selling price. So since your formula in order to calculate your profit has already been figured in to your eBay selling price or your Amazon selling price, this is just subtracting the supplier costs from that and approximately 15% for fees.